Shit, I didn't start recording for uh, that amazing intro that we just did. Damn. But now I'm recording. Okay. So. That's good. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome. <laughs> just redo it again. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, it feels like we haven't streamed in a year. Does it feel that way to you? It feels like it's been a while. Uh, and I, I think it's just because of the long weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does. It does feel interesting. It feels like it's been a while. It's because, you know, I wasn't at work today either, which is a whole other, like, you know, normally I'm at work on stream days. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. Give me just a moment. And see, normally I am too. And I was really happy to not be at work today. Right? It was, it was definitely nice. Oh, that's right, already the name that's the streamers, part. Tech Mess. STI 33. Okay. That's true. Well, speaking of I mean, the, yeah. you know, the mess, the, this one's a mess. This one's a real mess. This one's always a mess. Today, we're talking about permanent food comas. Permanent. We're talking about eating so much that maybe your stomach exploded. We're talking about food-related deaths that come from eating too much. Mm -hmm. Like, so much. Like, it's you eat morbid. so much food that you die. It seems quite morbid. <laughs> I know to some people, this is, you know, it seems like it may be a good way to go out. I don't think so. Mr. Creosote. Exactly, Dad. Yes. I'll have the lot. Remember that? <laughs> yes. Monty Python. Oh, Whoa, shit. Four months in a Madness, row. Madness. Four man. months. Thank you, man. Four Appreciate you. You guys at thebomb.com. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Thank you it's so great much. to see you, Art. It's great to see all of you. Thank you so much for hanging it out. It is tonight. good to see all of you tonight. I was so stoked to actually get on tonight. I have the Rona and felt I like not, not eating. eating at all. Oh, Jesus. Artie, that's I hope you're doing okay. That's, yeah, that's rough. That shit. That's awful. Whew. Yeah, we're, I feel like lately it's just been narrowly avoiding it. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Everything, everything that. I'm kind of amazed. At this point, is just like narrow, like yeah, just sliding right, right past the little mark. Well, and like, you know, like I mean? you know, I told you. Oh, like not I, have it's it's done. Okay, right. that's good. Oh, that's good. okay, that's good. Had yeah, okay, absolutely. But yeah, so we decided because you all went so hard, mm -hmm. got us to do the one chip challenge on the twenty seventh. Make and sure you I, mark your I calendars. Think, I think there needs to be a little bit of a discussion here because we need to ex explain why it's not happening tonight. Yes. Because I don't think we realized when we said we were going to do this that it's a yearly challenge that basically ends after December. Yeah. So. I didn't realize that at all. We are, they are on order. They are coming. Um, mm -hmm. They will either be here this week or next week. Yes. So, yes, we are doing the one chip challenge STI. If you weren't in that stream, uh, everyone made it possible and got us 75 subscribers. <laughs> so now we have to suffer and die on stream. It was Thursday that Thursday, uh, everybody, yeah. everybody decided to go super hard and get us to do the one. Chip they went challenge. ham. And, you know, we say, okay, we'll, we'll lower it to 75. And literally in one day, it, <laughs> that was, that was apparently the magic number, right? That was the magic number. It exploded, which is 75. just 75. So Yes. We have to do the Carolina Reaper Scorpion Pepper One Chip Challenge. Oh, I didn't realize it was a mix. I thought it, was it is. One. It's a mix. That sucks. So it's going to be a pain. I was, but I was eating hot Cheetos the other night, and I was like, these are <laughs> kind of spicy. And I thought more about it. I was like, oh, my God. I have to do something do worse than this. You can't do that. <laughs> Dude, you can't do that. You, can't. you have to do something like Four thousand times worse than. Oh, that. We, can I just eat enough hot Cheetos to like make myself immune to the spice? Mm. Can you eat enough che hot Cheetos to make your stomach explode? <laughs> that's really. <laughs> that's that's the that's the tune of the podcast tonight. But yeah, I mean, basically, what happened was we decided. Well, oh shit! Oh, Matt, oh my god, madness! Madness! With the ten gifted subs, are you kidding me right now? Holy shit, man! Thank oh you so much. Oh my god! Thank you. Sponsor, sponsor. Holy Good shit. Lord. Good Lord. Madness, thank you so much. Like, we really, dude, you, you do not have to do that. 
that's, that's amazing. That's fucking nuts. You're, Thank you, man. You fucking rock. You're a Jesus. rock star. You're a rock star. You're a goddamn For rock real. star. Look at that. Z Rummers is uh, is subscribed again. Yes. What a time to be alive. And there's a raffle going. There's always a raffle going here at Tech. Uh, oh my God. Shaved with the shaved with gifted. the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doc Snake. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the Messonites. Doc Snake. <laughs> Doc Snake, if you're here, let's talk. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have conversations. You guys are both excellent. I Thank you so much, Matt Ness. You fucking rock, dude. And shaved, you too, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's great to see you, Shave. It's good to see you here on time. Normally you're like oh, fuck. Normally you come in at the last like thirty seconds and you're like, ah oh, shit, I missed him. Oh fuck, the show's over. Get in the chip. Well, the chip is coming. Let's see. Let's let's find out. Let me let me give you guys a live chip tracker update. <laughs> uh, a live chip chip tracker update from the chip Tech team. Mess HQ over here. From TechMess HQ. Let's see here. Oh, and everyone who won a bottle, they are finally fucking here. So I'm getting them done and sent out, hopefully by the end of the week. Jake, I'll just bring you the ones I have to give you. Yes. Yeah, no problem. We'll, Along we'll with this horrible, horrible chip. We'll get that handled. Yeah. Oh, God. Ugh. I'm like, I'm not. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. I get thank really you all happy, so much. And then I think about it and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Thank you all so much for making it happen. Mike. But yes. God. Oh, shit. What? It's here. It's What do you mean it's here? It's you in Albuquerque. Off. It's you in Albuquerque. 3.45 p.m. It is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're going to have to make a new flyer and start it and do it on Thursday. You have to do it on Thursday. Oh, my God. It's here. God damn it, man. God damn it. Okay, well, one week later. <sighs> they're going to get it early now. No, you guys get it early. You're going to have to remake the flyer. Play with Fire Wednesday. We play with Fire Wednesday. Uh, that is. Mm. I was like staring at a bag of Pocky ghost pepper chips at the uh, gas station oh. last night. Oh, fuck. And I was like, should I get these to like try to these prepare? Are, like, try, to, try to practice. Like, is this should I, should I try to get ready? But like, I mean, yeah, it's, it's ghost pepper. It can't be that bad. Ghost pepper's nothing compared to the Reaper. The Reapy Reaper. So, guys, yep. Thursday, there'll be a new flyer. There'll be a new flyer and there will be maybe another food-related death that we can't talk about today. <laughs> guys, without any further ado. Yes. Let's talk about some horrible things. Uh, this is an article from tastemade.com called Five People Who Ate Themselves to Death. Not even joking. Aptly right, so, named. Great name. <laughs> the first uh, example of a person who ate themselves to death is a girl who died from eating too much gum. Now, we've all heard the adage of don't eat gum, you know, it'll... It won't digest. It'll stay in your system for X amount of days and you're going to feel like shit or whatever. Right. Now, can you imagine if you ate 14 sticks of gum a day? <sighs> if you ate them and swallowed them? That This is what this girl did so in 2011. It's almost, it's almost like pica because she was eating them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah. In 2011, an English teenager died from eating and obviously swallowing too much gum. Hmm. Her stomach was unable to absorb vital minerals that were needed on account of there being too much of the minty stuff in it. Approximately five big lumps. Ugh. Holy shit. Doctors initially thought she got poisoned, but her post-mortem revealed that she had Potassium, calcium, sodium, and magnesium deficiencies. So the gum was the cause of her complete deficiencies. She really only needed a Flintstones gummy and she would have been fine. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have, uh, well, yeah, had it wouldn't they, have had absorbed. They, had they gotten the gum out of her body, she, she, she could have had, you know, just an she, IV drip. Are you, saying, are you, are you victim blaming right now? Because that's what it sounds no, like. No, I'm saying that the hospital did sounds a bad like, job. Sounds like you're, you're victim blaming. I'm saying the hospital could have saved her. And we don't believe that stance here at Tech Mess. <laughs> you're <laughs> twisting my words and I do not appreciate it. <laughs> that's one way to look at it, man. <laughs> but yeah, so there, there's your first example. Woman, a girl, teenage girl, died. That's so much eating too gum. much gum. 
14 sticks a day. I don't even want to eat any gum, like, ever. I mean, I enjoy chewing gum, but I, I, I never swallow it unless it's, like, an absolute, like, I have nowhere to put it. You swallow gum? I have a what, Is it just, like, a thing that people do? Because I don't understand. Like, I've... If you don't have a garbage can to throw, I'm not some heathen that'll just fucking spit it on the sidewalk, so... Sometimes you just gotta swallow it. You don't keep the wrapper and, like, you know... And then you're... No. I would Why? imply that I'm thinking ahead and I don't do that. Why don't you think ahead ever? <laughs> Be happy that I thought ahead about shorts this week. <laughs> That's about as thinking one. ahead as I got this week. Well, now, this, this person also didn't think ahead. There's a London fashion model who ate 19 pounds of food in one sitting. Jesus okay. Christ. This is, this is example number two here. Now, the words fashion, and I'm not going to read this part because it's, just, you know what I mean? It's like the words fashion model and food aren't typically, and it's like, I don't believe in that. You know what I mean? Well, you, I you mean, should, well, you, should, you should, if you are a fashion model, you should also be eating. Yeah, but you they're told mean? not to eat. So they like the true. fact that it's a fashion model that ate 19 pounds of food, one is horrifying. It's pretty exciting. Two also shows how horrible that industry is for people because, Awful. my God. I mean, you you were literally dying to eat, right? Right. Like, you, you have to eat so much that you feel satiated and, like, it ends up killing you. Yeah, which is not good, believe it or not. So, um, now, there's a 23-year-old London model who in 1981 binged on 19 pounds of food. And presumably, we don't have an exact thing here uh blew her tiny stomach out like literally like you remember the other day when i was like i was afraid my stomach was going to explode yeah yeah that actually happened theoretically like we don't have like an autopsy here we don't have like a postmortem but that is what was considered. Oh, and now, i, can't, yeah, I, can't I see a lot how badly that would hurt i see a lot of you in chat saying what did she eat now Mm-hmm. In this ill-fated meal, she allegedly devoured a fair share of meat, including one pound of liver, mm-hmm. two pounds of kidneys, oh. and a half pound steak. Now, she wasn't happy there. She wasn't ready to go just yet. So she continued to eat one pound of cheese, two eggs. She drank two glasses of milk and ate two thick slices of bread. Okay? Mm. But, you know... That's not 19 pounds, guys. This is, this is, you know, this is an amateur hour. Thankfully, she didn't forget her fruits and vegetables. Mm. With one cauliflower, 10 peaches. 10 peaches? Like what? That's a lot of peaches. Four pears. Two apples, which, you know, that's that's pretty normal. Four bananas. And two pounds each of plums, carrots, and grapes. What, did she just like establish like this is what I'm gonna fucking eat tonight? Because like who the hell goes and eats two pounds of kidneys and a pound of liver? <laughs> Seriously, I don't even. That's a very <laughs> odd thing to go like. God, Insert... damn, I'm really hungry. I could eat some fucking liver. Insert my kidneys. favorite King of the Hill joke. He's he's a boy, not a ghoul. <laughs> And did it, did this one, did this clarify? Was this a, was this a, a woman or a man? This was a woman. This was a woman? God. 23 year old London model. That's a lot of fucking food. Yeah, she, she went a little too hard. Two pounds of kidneys. Where do they, where do you even get two pounds of kidneys? You don't. Anywhere. You shouldn't. I mean, generally it's, uh, it, it turns out bad idea. To have that. Checking out at the store, the fucking rep at the store didn't manage to go, are you okay? Are you are you dying? Because <laughs> you're gonna be. Are you, are you all right? Sorry, I haven't messed with my lighting yet in a while. Ten pounds. Jake stands up. <laughs> oh man! But yes, so that that is story number two. Now, Matt, she popped. I know that you love psychologists. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna let especially, you have this number especially three, especially when they're from Florida. Yeah, we all Flor- love psychologists. Florida man. Florida. Um. Well, this psychologist, while you know, he spent much of his day taking care of people. He had a deep, dark secret. Oh, God. And that is that he loved hot dogs a little too much. He loved them. 
In 2013, <laughs> competitive eater Joey Chestnut said, Yo, what's up? World- it's me, Joey Chestnut. <laughs> set the world record for the most hot dogs consumed at 69. That's a shitload nice. of hot dogs. But he trains his stomach. You know, he this this guy is like the Olympic champion of competitive hot dog eating. Oh yeah. Um, but after returning home from the doctor's office, after wait a minute, mm-hmm. I skipped mm-hmm. ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, oh my god. So <laughs> not the case with this next person. So after returning home from the doctor's office, um, this lovely psychologist uh, just wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? I think you read the entire thing wrong. Did I read the whole thing wrong? I did not. You totally did. No, it skipped. Z Rimmers, stick to the script, Matt. Okay. I am not. I'm going to reread just the first line so you can understand. Okay? 2013 choice. In 2013, competitive eater Joey Chestnut set the right. record for most hot dogs consumed at 69. Uh-huh. But then again, he trains his stomach and his oh, body for such yeah, tasks. I skipped that part. That's, my, that's why it sounded so fucking weird to me. It's not the case with this next individual. <laughs> so anyway, she came home uh, and she had to have an alleged two quarts of matter pumped from her stomach, which included a grand total of five pounds of hot dogs, three <laughs> boxes of crackers, and oh my God, two quarts of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, a Floridian psychologist foolishly proceeded to start binging once more. An autopsy later found that she had consumed an ungodly amount of hot dogs, broccoli, cereal, and a mysterious bubbly green goop. <laughs> what is it, flubber? <laughs> what is a mysterious bubbly green goop? She broke into Robin Williams' house and stole his flubber and just munched on it. No, Dad, so here's the thing. Joey Chestnut is... The record holder for the most hot yeah. dogs consumed. Joey Chestnut I is think, still alive. I think to be fair that that was written kind of weird, and then I read it really weird. Um, yeah, it was comparing sure. her to Joey, who like trains for this shit. Joey's and like a profesh. He's, this lady's like, I'm gonna take down three boxes of crackers and five pounds of hot dogs, mm-hmm. um, and just ugh. Uh, Freudian. So the ugh. the dog that the psychologist wanted was a uh, Pavlov's dog. Mm. Sorry. Okay. That's that's a little little joke about things I don't fully understand, but I have I feel I feel smart right now. Yeah, I don't know? even try to make jokes about that because I don't. Pavlov's dog. It's like yeah, have you heard the thing where it's like somebody like rings a bell? No. It's the guy who rings a bell for his dog. Whatever. You know, whatever. Okay. Anyway, this, is, this has increased my knowledge on the matter exponentially. Now you feel a lot smarter. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not as smart no. as this lady, but yeah. <laughs> not as smart as this lady. And definitely not as smart as Adolf Frederick, the greedy king of Sweden. Ah, Sweden. Uh, on our fourth entry into the into the horrors of overeating, um, Adolf Frederick was the king of Sweden in 1771 at the point, at this point, right? There's always going to be a king somewhere on a list like this, known for their gouty, gorgings. Kings throughout history have been known to be a portly bunch. Mm -hmm. That's true. And King Adolf gets his legacy through dying from eating vast amounts of lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, herring, champagne, and an alleged 14 servings of hot milk. (laughs) See, it's 1771. All of that, the, the hot milk can fuck off, but all of that sounds like a good way to go. Not the like, hot milk. You're ever, eating, no, no, fuck the hot milk, but like you're at least enjoying your food. It's not fucking liver and kidneys. <laughs> liver and kidneys and <laughs> 10 peaches and got two apples. Now, his official cause of death was unsurprisingly digestive problems. Mm, it was the mm. milk. It was the milk. It was the milk. It was the, the milk, milk man. He was, he was lactose intolerant. 14 yeah. cups. You That's know? what it was. Retching too much. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly 14 servings of hot milk. Sorry. God. You hear it again. So yeah. hot milk, like, is that, is it just warmer than warm milk? Well, I, you know, haven't you ever had a steamer? Like oiled milk? No, I haven't. You ever had a steamer from like Starbucks? You know, I don't like milk. I hate milk. The whole kind of doesn't like milk. milk. I had milk just like a couple minutes. I had a bowl of cereal with milk. 
I, I, I do almond milk because shit like this. Because shit like what? Because a king in 1771 yeah, had 17, 14 servings it, of hot yeah, milk? It fucking killed him because it was milk. It was not the milk that killed him, my friend. It was the lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, herring, champagne, and 14 servings of hot milk um, that killed him. Don't use the word steamer, Jake. <laughs> YouTube can suffer. I don't think we even care about the YouTube anymore for point. that part because, That's, like, uh, at this fair. point, they're just rants. But, yeah. yeah, no, I don't like milk. I don't, I don't drink milk. Yeah. It's full fair. of pus. <laughs> stop. You <can> stop, dude. <laughs> well, in 1771, it probably was, actually. <laughs> All things considered, it probably wasn't like pasteurized milk. Oh no, back then it was full of all sorts of horrible shit. Well, it was just natural. No. And it was, it, I feel like milk now is probably more full of horrible well, shit. I mean, yeah, hormones and RBST and all that shit. True. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I know RBST. There's there's something that exists. Yeah, oh yeah. It's it's I, I, I know that because of where I used to work. Yeah, see, you have, like, a knowledge of this kind we of stuff. We were very proud that our cows did not have that in them. Wouldn't the heat of summer have pasteurized? I have no idea the pasteurization progress. You know what? Fine. Let me Google it. Heat have semi I mean, yes, but I'm also concerned as to, like, wouldn't it, like, if it got hot enough, wouldn't it curdle it? Mm. Would it at some point get so hot it just makes cheese? And was this guy just drinking, like, a oh, semi you know, cheese? You know, according to Wikipedia. Oh. Uh, pasteurization is a process in which packaged and non-packaged foods such as milk mm -hmm. fruit juice are treated with mild heat usually less than 100 degrees celsius 212 degrees fahrenheit to eliminate pathogens and extend shelf life the process okay. is intended to destroy or deactivate organisms and enzymes that could contribute to spoilage or risk of disease i said mild In heat <laughs> apparently i'm not putting my hand on that you know what i mean 212 fahrenheit is it's, mild apparently i don't know uh, i mean i mean think about it oh you fucking serious right now camera you're gonna do this you can do this <laughs> i, I caught you i caught you motherfucker anyway um i mean if you think about it you're not baking shit at that temperature right so it is uh, a mild yeah heat. i guess it's gonna be like crazy Let's see I'm not but yeah so that that is now you know more about pasteurization and why you shouldn't drink 14 cups of hot milk. Hot milk. You, in 1771. You, most, most of our, I, I want to believe that most of our viewers or listeners have more common sense than to do that anyway. <laughs> See, I'm not an idiot some of the time. <laughs> I caught you, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. So here's oh. uh, number five mm -hmm. on this list. Okay. Yes. Now, this was a man who, a Japanese man who ate Fugu liver mm. on purpose. Uh, fugu. Now, fugu, which if you don't know, is a potentially deadly Japanese puffer fish that was made famous by Homer Simpson's near-death dance with it in the 90s. Mm. But in 1975, Bando Mitsugoro, the eighth. <laughs> <laughs> That's really important. If we don't give you that information, the story is just out the window. It's fucked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wholeheartedly, or he was a, he was a lauded Japanese actor. Okay. Mm -hmm. He wholeheartedly believed that he was powerful enough to consume the immensely poisonous liver of the infamous fish. He ordered a heap of the deadly and illegal livers and then unsurprisingly and deservedly died. You know how trained you have to be to butcher those fish in Japan? I don't, I don't actually, I'm not, I'm not super well versed with. Fugu. So if you don't know about fugu, fugu is a very interesting fish. Cause yeah, it is, it, it, it's a puffer fish. So like what the would, fugu. Yeah. What the fugu. Um, so yeah, in Japan you have to go through, I think it's like five or six years of like chef training to learn how to properly slutter, slutter, slutter? slaughter, <laughs> <laughs> slaughter, cut, and then, um, present the fish because if you just so happen to like nick the liver the poison sack like whatever it is you will kill somebody because it's a neurotoxin and it shuts your body down so basically it hits your nerves and then just kills you 
I didn't, you know what, dude? I don't believe that. That's not true. I'm going to order a big pile of the livers. Okay, order some fugu. Let's order some fugu. You know what I mean? Fucking fugu. Yeah, I would. I've seen I a lot of YouTubers it. try it. I would never try it. I would never try it. I, I, I was no going to say, you know, uh, 250,000 subscribers <laughs> in at a concurrent rate, meaning every single one of them is subscribed not gifted a subscription <laughs> we will fly to japan and have fugu <laughs> we'll try fugu but no yeah no never never We're just gonna, gonna make a website called the fugu countdown if we get to anywhere near two hundred fifty thousand subscribers i'm fucking shutting down the stream <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening man <laughs> oh, oh man and yeah. yet uh, good to see you, buddy. Hey, Emily. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Fugu's <sighs> no fucking joke. I would never... I, I have no interest in trying it because it's such a... It's Russian roulette with a fish. Yeah, it's just... No. Mm -mm. No thanks. That, you commonly eat it raw, so like sashimi, and like it's it's pale white. It just looks like... It, it looks gross. It yeah. looks like tilapia. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm yeah, good. It's just not... It's not good. No. Okay, so I have another article here. Indirect steak. Hello. Hey, we'll what's going on? Indirect steak. Again. Hopefully you eat. But it's not going to be food that you're like wanting to eat. I'll that's, tell you that. That's true. That's it's true. about food deaths. Food deaths. And death by food. Fish. It's not fish. We we were actually just talking about fish. Two hundred thousand people goods. talking at once would be quite. I don't even know if you. I don't even know that. what would happen. Man, this is the gifted vamp here lurking. Hey, thanks so much for coming and hanging out, pilot. Great to see hey, you. Can pilot. we get a shout out? Can we get a shout out for pilot? Yeah, let's give a shout out to pilot. Hell yeah. He streams things. He's, he does streams. And stuff. Uh, indirect steak. You came in at the moment. We were talking about somebody who died from eating the liver of the Japanese fugu pufferfish. Yes. Which, if you didn't know, is highly toxic and contains neurotoxins that kill you. What the fuck? Okay. So this is an article from Salon.com. Ah. Now, the first on their list was the 19 pounds of food woman. Mm -hmm. um, so, great. Now, the second on their list, I think this is the same person, the Florida psychologist. Yeah, that's the same. It's got to be, right? Okay, yeah. so here's some more details. She was found collapsed in her kitchen, surrounded by, quote, an abundance of foodstuffs, broken <laughs> soft drink bottles, and an empty grocery bag. Yeah. To quote a lavishly, if repellently illustrated article in 1986, uh, in a 1986 American Journal of Forensic Medicine and Pathology, in her purse was a hospital form from several hours earlier, indicating that she had consumed five pounds of hot dogs. Okay, yeah, we we did read that. Yeah, <laughs> three so she, boxes. So yeah. that so that clarifies it. She was pumped, and then she mm -hmm. did it again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't. I don't know. What the Before, hell? She drove to herself to the emergency room. <sighs> And complaining of the abdomen. Is she okay. okay? God damn it, STI. She's okay. She's good. Oh my God. Yeah, the staff dutifully pumped nearly two quarts of material from her oh. stomach, whereupon she returned home only to start all over again. The Dade County Medical Examiner's report itemized the fatal last meal 8,700 cc's of poorly masticated, undigested hot dogs, broccoli, and cereal suspended in green liquid that contained numerous small bubbles. What the fuck kind of cartoon monster is this person? That's disgusting. The green liquid still is a mystery to this day. That's awful. Yeah. Still a mystery. They never figured mm -hmm. out what the green shit was? No. Fucking. Now, what? here's something interesting about both of the model Wait, oh. and uh, the psychologist. Both of these women were bulimics. Well, and that happens. Sometimes yeah. they gorge too much, but I've never seen, I've never heard of them gorging that much. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. But that's, yeah. I mean, that's, whew, that's indirect steak. Awful. I kind of agree, but at, at the same time, like every once in a while. I don't know, man. I love a good hot dog. Yeah, every once in a while, a hot dog just hits the I'm dog. saying, man, if you go to Costco and you leave without a hot dog, you're a psychopath. True. true. <laughs> Very I think at least. I don't know. I'm, I'm a fan. Their hot dogs. I love, are I love their hot dogs. That's usually what we buy when we go camping. You know what's also good is their pizza. Mm -hmm. Have you had their yeah, pizza? Their pizzas like, are pretty have good. you ordered a pizza from Costco though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've done it a lot so for good. parties. Yeah, right. But it's just like great pizza, good price. 
Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Costco, for the sponsorship on today's episode of Morbid Message Monday. Fuck off, Taco Bell. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, interesting. So not all people who eat themselves to death die of a ruptured stomach. The Florida psychologist yeah, died of asphyxia. Her oh, grossly distended stomach, uh, having protruded so far up and out of its customary terrain that the lungs, that her lungs were terminally oh, compromised. It suffocated her from the Oh, my inside? God. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Mm, nope. No, thank you. Jesus I can, I can totally see it though, because you know, after like a holiday dinner, you're sitting on the couch, like, "Am I gonna die?" Because like, you're breathing. Oh, that's is true. You... You're, you're you're like, "Oh fuck!" Oh, Dude, oh. How many times, honestly, in your life, have you thought you were gonna die because you ate too much? I think only once. Really? Yeah, and that was at our high school. Yeah, me too, man. It's <laughs> me only once for sure. <laughs> Kidding me. Was that our Never, high school? I ate a bunch of times. Fucking, we had pizza and hot pockets and Mountain Dew, and I was. 16. Oh, we you've talked about this actually before. Yeah, yeah. I felt <laughs> like I was going to die. Home. I did. I felt like I was going to die. Yeah, you you have talked about this on yeah. stream. So many. Hot I hot remember hot. this. Yeah. This so <laughs> Mine was <laughs> fairly recently, but it's, I can't say it was my first time either. Though. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you know. Sometimes you just you eat too much, and I mean, like I'm sitting there, and I just feel like a rock is like I slowly building me. in my stomach, and I'm just like, "This is it." It's like, like is not, this the end right now? I think sure really the exact happening? words were not going to lie. I don't think I'm going to make this stream tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's that's likely true. Here's a rock in her stomach. Yeah. That's what literally back, felt like. Like, yeah, it just came back from all here is rock in stomach. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't imagine them being suffocated that way. Like, oh, God, just oh, gasping seriously. for breath. But mm. the hot dogs won't let you breathe. Yeah. Nope. Now, the ruptured stomach victims in the report typically died within a matter of hours. Of 31 cases reviewed in one 1941 journal article, only two recovered from a ruptured stomach. I just call myself a fat ass and just sit there. <laughs> you shame, shame on you. You just scream at yourself in the mirror. It's got a bell. Shame. I mean, but it's just one of those things. Like, what do you, what do you do? You, you know what I mean? Sit there and die. Yeah. <laughs> or really or there's like a gas bubble in there that's going to clear up enough room. You just punch yourself in the stomach a few times. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, to be honest, I'd probably try doing that. I'd probably like just like flop onto the floor and just try to like. <laughs> like a fucking flounder? Launch. <laughs> Fish out of water? Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Text just sent us an interesting thing. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I will open I'll that up. Move the magic carp. I'm 6'3", 190 pounds. So what? you're, 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 yeah, you're not fat. No. <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. You're not. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, you don't even need food. There's always this infamous case for all the gamers out there. We're going to read that in just a moment. Mm, yes. Once I, once I'm done with this. The family of now, strange. Lest you spend your post. Oh, I heard this one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And you take like 30 of my pounds. <laughs> Why did I do this? I'll never do this again. A few days later, back at it again. Yeah, basically. I've done that before. Well, there was an episode of uh, How I Met Your Mother where Marshall's like, I'm never drinking again. And then he shows up drunk. He's like, I did it again. <laughs> well, that's how it is at like holiday functions. You know, you finish eating and you're like, oh, God, no, I can't do anymore. Oh, pie time. Oh, good pie. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. This is just, mm -hmm. There's always room for dessert. Always room for pie. Just no, You just hear your stomach screaming. Whipped cream. Do not put more food in me. Now, you don't need to worry, though. Most of the time, when it comes to a ruptured stomach, there are signs. In fact, you may feel... Like there's a rock in your stomach. You may feel like your stomach is literally going to explode. Mm -hmm. But unless you feel, unless you report a bursting noise or a sudden explosion, then you should be fine. Should be fine. No worries. That's awful. That being said, I'm like feeling it a little bit right now. And I'm like feeling a little comfortable. 
Oh, I used to train for half marathon. I got down to 160. Jesus, it couldn't happen. Now, here's a final word of caution. Should you find yourself closing in on the four court mark, do not seek relief in a glass of Alka-Seltzer. In 1941, a 51 year old woman capped a week long hyperphagic binge. Oh God. I did. You, have you heard about that? No, not oh, that. God. Okay. Okay. By sitting down to a prodigious meal of macaroni, meatballs, cheese, tomatoes, potatoes, bread, pie, three glasses of grape juice, and several shots of whiskey. Nearly four quarts of food in all. Oh, now. Why? Why do people do this? <laughs> why do people do this? I've never, like, I've never been able to do this. And even if it were, like, a thing that I could do it, I'd be like, it would be like a like a competition thing. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, I bet you can't do it. And he's like, all right, well, well like, fuck you. I'm gonna like, do it. I've never found myself walking through Walmart and like, mm, that whole mm. turkey. Mm -hmm. That whole turkey is looking like it wants me to eat it right now. Your fucking mind tonight. <laughs> it's on. It's on. <laughs> Those potatoes. Yeah. That entire fucking gallon jug of potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Now, before I get too far, I noticed that the, the mods started a poll and I'm going to fix it right now. Um, because hopefully not. I hope I notice that everybody's voting for serious. Pepsi. Um, <laughs> I don't like Pepsi oh, or Cola. I can vote. Yeah, I, I voted too. You took my vote. You fuck. You took my vote. Yeah, but I don't know if it's kidney stones, but I have a doctor's appointment next week. But again, not a big deal. It's most likely just something else. Absolutely. Hopefully it something happens, else. man. It is. It is likely something else. This too shall pass. This too shall stone. pass. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. after eating all this, she said she was suffering from heavy feelings in her abdomen. Abdomen? Abdomen. I fucking wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder if the whiskey is not breaking everything down the way you thought it would. It was, um, it was the macaroni. That's what it was. Now, she sought to relieve her discomfort with a few teaspoons of sodium bicarbonate in water. Almost immediately, she doubled up with severe stomach pain. The gas from the fizz having apparently stretched oh, the stomach to its man. breaking point, bro. Ah! Within 14 hours, the woman died. The case study reported in December 1941, Annals of Surgery, is, accompan is accompanied by a detailed half-page illustration of her stomach, replete with a gaping five-inch long rupture. Huh. Oh, God. STI's motto for our stream is going to be, are they all right? <laughs> is this shit okay? <laughs> There's more dangerous more... people think. Well, especially when you combine it with fucking Alka-Seltzer. Well, and you know, water is the number one leading cause of drowning, too, so. True, true. It's if you didn't know. Did you know water poisoning is a thing? Hey, bro, spoiler alerts are coming. Did you know water poisoning is a thing? Uh-huh. Enlighten me. Yeah, so water poisoning. I, I actually thought I gave it to myself once because I drank like two or three gallons of water a day at one point. Uh, water poisoning is where your body does not get enough like of the nutrients that you need throughout the day to keep your body, you know, your vitamins, your minerals, and your body basically flushes it all out. Mm -hmm. So all you've given yourself is just water with no vitamins, no minerals, nothing. And so your body's working so hard to expel that water that it expels basically everything and goes into panic mode and they consider it water poisoning, uh, which can kill you. Interesting. Yeah. And it's not like considered drowning. It's just like, it's not considered drowning because yeah. you're not you're not drowning. You're just removing the things that your body needs to stay alive. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Average Welcome American to another episode of Morbid right? Message Monday. Four times. Before. I'm here. Yeah, I with bet. dramatic lighting. Now, Pepsi running three to one. Are you fucking kidding me, chat? I do prefer Pepsi over Coke. Oh my god! I'll why? say it because it just doesn't it doesn't taste as heavy. Listen. Cherry Pepsi versus Cherry Coke, I'll give to you. Mm. I'll let you have. Mm. But I don't know, man. Coke is just better. Vanilla Coke kills. Vanilla Coke slaps. Vanilla Coke is a... Uh... Yes, it that's slaps. My, that's my only <laughs> comment on that one. <laughs> Vanilla Coke kills. There we go. Is this better, guys? How does this look? Now that I'm looking directly into the sun. <laughs> There we go. Now it's really look looking you, directly. Boy. Look, look, look. Center of the planet. Vanilla Coke is there we go. 
That's yeah, vanilla, vanilla Coke is very good. Yes, yes. Cherry Pepsi, Vanilla Coke. Now, if you mix the two, you're basically a genius scientist extraordinaire. I mean, I think we all used to go to the fucking the fountain drinks at like McDonald's and like fill the drink with every possible. Oh, company. of course. What is the gro- oh Coke oh. one four to three? Oh. Are you joking right now? Who came back right now and voted for Coke? Disappointing. Good job. Disappointing. Proud of you. So proud of you all. So disappointing. You didn't let Matt have the dream of winning. You lost. Always. <laughs> but um, what is like one of the grossest combinations you've made at a restaurant? Uh, the worst thing I ever did by accident was like combined cream soda with um, uh, uh, was it high C? I think it was high C. Mm, it was like cream. No, it was cream soda, high C, Pepsi, and Mr. Pib. And it just, it was horrid. Weren't they called suicides too? Like, wasn't that the name of them? I think that's what they were like called. Like, if you got it? Yeah, I think that's what they were called. So, you my number one goal up. anytime yeah. that I tried to make one of those right. drinks, yeah. I wanted it to look like slime. Like, I wanted it to be green or something. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted it to be right. like a very awful uh, color. So, usually it was. High C orange, Powerade, hmm. and Sprite. And I'm not going to lie. It was pretty tasty. That's interesting. Now, That's fun a, fact. Interesting Coke fact. was developed before refrigeration was common in homes. Pepsi came after common refrigeration. If you drink Pepsi cold and Coke warm, the taste is very much the same. The fancy thing? Yeah, so those are interesting. You, you can do the same thing with those. Um, in fact, you can get even crazier with it, too. But uh, I've never tried it at one of those because those are a recent invention and I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, what is it? Can you read it out loud? If, uh... Madness is talking about the, the Coke freestyle machines. Like oh, the, shit. The touchscreen thing. So I'm sure kids nowadays do it. I don't have the well, stomach for it, dude. I don't want to yeah, explode. Yeah, I, I don't want to die. <laughs> but those are the best machines in my opinion. I think they're going away. Because Why? I've been seeing more and more restaurants pulling them. But why? I think I think they're too expensive to run because when it we, is a lot of syrup. Well, so and I used to work at um, a hospital system and we installed one in our cafeteria. I can't tell you how many times I was trying to fix the network connection on that stupid ass thing <laughs> because it it they they check back to Coca Cola and they they're like, oh hey, I'm low on this syrup uh, to let them know to send an order to the restaurant or whatever you know whoever owns the stupid thing. Yeah. And um, they are constantly clogging. It's a shitload of money. Oh, jeez, um, man. Yeah, they're they're a pain in the ass. So I think they're going away because I noticed a couple restaurants that I we normally go to have been pulling them. Well, I guess they could just be good. Maybe they're just like getting um, remade. Yeah, they could be getting new ones. I have no idea. You know, something like that. Interesting. But huh. yeah. I wonder if they'll, if, they'll, if they'll come back because those are some of my favorites. They're pretty cool. I, I love those damn things, and I haven't been able to use them because they're no longer existent. Oh my god, guys! Yeah, you got twelve out of the three for the sub call. <laughs> thank you all so much. I forgot I hadn't oh. added it to this yet. So, Good god damn, thank you all, guys. Seriously, holy fuck, damn. But yeah, um, at the end of the day, I think that those machines are important, and they are going to be the staple of the American lifestyle now. I want to say that's it. Th those are the food related deaths, it's ruptured stomachs, lots of hot dogs. I noticed it's a weird kind of common, common thread. And if you guys didn't open that article that text sent, this lady died of water intoxication. Oh shit. Yeah. Hold on. I actually wanted to open that article. Hold your wee for a wee contest. Where mm. is it? It's in Damn chat. It. Here, I can send it to you privately. Send it to me. It. Send it to me, man. Oops. We're gonna re we're gonna read Texas article that he sent because goddamn. It's in Discord. Oh great. So I gotta get rid of your face for a moment. Get rid of my face. Get rid of my face. All right. Hot dogs. Oh wait, I did have this open. Hot I, clo dogs. I closed it. What an idiot. I'm back. All right. Your Matt's back, guys. <laughs> Don't lose it. Now. Jennifer Strange. Families. Awarded sixteen point five million in the We for We contest death. Now, 
the family of Jennifer Strange, a California woman who died after participating in a radio station's water drinking contest, has been awarded $16.5 million uh, by a California jury. Jennifer Strange, a 28-year-old Rancho Cordova, California mother of three, died of acute water intoxication in January 2007 after the challenge to see which contestant could drink the most water without using the restroom. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. A Nintendo uh, Wii video game was the prize for winning the Hold Your Wii for a Wii contest. Mm-mm. Nope. So I looked it up, and I was partially <sighs> correct on it. So water poisoning or water intoxication is the disruption of brain function caused by drinking too much water. So not only does it flush all the shit you need, it dilutes your blood. Mm. So it increases the water amount in your blood and therefore disrupts body functions to like organs in the brain. So it's a real fucking thing. Awful. Jesus Christ, dude. It's a horrible way to go. Can you imagine? Come on. Awful. And I I scared myself once because I thought I was like, fuck, did I do this to myself? Because like I felt (laughs) I I drank like three gallons of water one day and I felt like I was going to die. Well, that does happen. I mean, like, think about marathon runners and stuff. STI 33 talking about training for marathons and stuff. I mean, people die from drowning during marathons all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are going to a pure delivery and drive through. Now imagine it's a mix location like KFC and Taco Bell. Low overhead cost. Every square foot will be used for profit. Jesus Christ. I think we talked about that once, didn't we? We did. We saw it. We saw like the cool elevated Taco Bell that you drive underneath. Yeah. Jesus. That's pretty neat, though. I'm into it. Anyway, folks, that about wraps up food deaths brought on by food and dying. Yeah. You guys are going to get to see one live on Thursday. Uh, Two. Two. You're going to see a double homicide via the Pocky One Challenge. Oh, God. I can't believe they're here. (laughs) Why? It said the 21st to the 27th, and it's like, JK, they're in Albuquerque. I can't believe they're here. I don't want to do it. Oh, God, guys, don't forget to be here Thursday and Wednesday. We do stuff Wednesdays, too. Yeah. And we're still going to do stuff after this, too. We're going to be playing some motherfucking Hunt Showdown. Ooh, it's been a while. Can we get the After Effects show on Friday, like a 24-hour <laughs> No, no, you can't. You cannot. I'll do a TikTok video. The an IRL. Or... An IRL stream. Guys, I'm dying. <laughs> so, I'm glad uh, we're doing it on a Thursday because I work from home on Friday, so that's good. I don't, so that's great for you, I guess. <laughs> I was like, why is there a McDonald's box on my desktop? But I had to make the flyer today. Oh, yeah. If you didn't see the flyer, that was Matt, and it was awesome. I, I was pretty stoked. I thought it was pretty good. That was a good one, man. Oh! Huh? 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 Is it Yeehaw? Yeehaw! Coworkers going to hear some weird noises in the bathroom. That's going to hear some of it. screaming. I don't talk to people on Fridays. Bleeding. Bleeding. Hunt showdown it is. Hunt, 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 hunt. What hunt. the fuck is that? What is what? I just tried Sig to. Sigtech Gaming, up. what's going on? You just missed the podcast. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We didn't do the exit. Friend. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for, for joining us today for another episode of Morbid Message Monday. Mm-hmm. We are done with this episode so you know what matt there you go have a great night that's it there's no specialness to this it's just goodbye (laughs) no specialness to this hope you have a great day night evening whatever happens to be you're having don't forget to follow on the youtube follow on spotify follow on stitcher follow everywhere the podcast is available follow them all make sure you follow tech mess on everything as well youtube.com slash tech mess um no you did not miss the fire sick tech gaming we are not doing it until thursday we're going to be it on was supposed Thursday. To be next Thursday. I was supposed but to have a week came to prepare early. But instead, Amazon decided, you know what? Tech Mess needs to do this. I'm going to go buy those chips tomorrow and just like try to like prep myself. God, that was loud. <laughs> that was very loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So follow everything because you need to follow everything. I mean, Look, we would we would be kidding you guys if we didn't say that that was going to also end up on the YouTube channel because if we're going to suffer through the pain that is that fucking chip, it's going on every single piece of social media that we have. Oh yeah, it is. Absolutely. So.
I still have a third left. <laughs> oh yeah, shit! I didn't even open the game. I should do that. Huh? Yeah, you should do that. I'll change the stream info. Yeah, change it. Change it up, man. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna jump into some hunt showdown now. I'm gonna stop recording, and you have a great day, night, evening, whatever happens to be you're having. Don't forget to follow on everything. Good night. See yeah. you later. Good night. Goodbye. Get out of here. Good night. <gasps> Goodbye. 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 There we go. I didn't look at the camera when I said it. Uh,